Hello and welcome. Welcome one, welcome all to Football Match 2017. It is that time of year again. It comes around but once a year, uh, just before Christmas, well, a month before Christmas in November. It's, it's kind of the third most important day of the year. It's Football Manager release day, uh, Football Manager 2017. And um, yeah, as you can see, they have a new thing where you can create yourself automatically using some face gen stuff. And the game thinks I'm a smurf. Yeah, it's maybe blue. I'm not entirely sure why I can't blue. It looks a little bit like me actually, it's a bit creepy apart from, you know, the blueness. I it's I don't know what happened. I honestly cannot quite understand why the game thinks I'm blue. But there we go. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna keep that because it's kind of interested in being a smurf. Uh we're going straight into it, career. Uh what I did say I was gonna do was something different this time. We're going Macclesfield, because I live in Macclesfield, I'm not doing Reading, I do Reading every other year it seems, I did Plymouth last year and then Reading year before that, Plymouth, no, Reading last year in 2016, 2015 was Plymouth and that turned into um, the other one, Derby, year before that was Reading, so we're going straight for Macclesfield, Vanarama National, uh, with such luminaries as Aldershot, Barrow, uh, Torquay, Woking, York, Eastleigh, uh, Geisley, whoever Geisley are, uh, Maidstone, Forest Green Rovers, all these people, Southport, Sutton United. Uh, so yeah, we're going to play as them, see if we can make Macclesfield great. Try and get us into, I don't know, the Premier League, win the Premier League a couple of times, as I did with Reading, which was amazing, uh, and you know, Champions League, always good. So let's um, advance setup. none of this quick start malarkey. I've got a decent computer, I can run a few more leagues. Uh, this is the league. Oh, actually, it's doing what I did with my test match. The only time I've done so far is I've literally not pressed continue. I just loaded up as Reading just to just to um, see and then um, make sure it worked. Make sure I think I've got the face pack loaded from last game. So yeah, it's just that really. And uh, we've got Van Ram Nat and above. Uh, all of them. Large database doesn't go huge. Does it? No, large. That's good. Do I anything else? So what have I got? Belgium, Brazil, France. Germany, Dutch, land, no, Netherlands or Holland, Norwegian because obviously Norway, uh, Scotland uh, or Ladbrokes, Spain and America. Do I want an Antipodean? Do I want Australia? Just for uh, Australia, there we go, we'll go Australia as well. I mean we do get other players but it's just nice to have that extra extra things being in there. So yeah, we're going to Australia, the Hyundai A-League, and we are going to early 2016-17 preseason, first of the 7th, 2016, we're going to start game. Uh, you have selected uh, 26 leagues from 11 nations with a large database. The game will start in England in 2016, yes. It should be faster, apparently. I've not, as I said, I've not played, I've not tried any of the new stuff because the last couple of weeks have been mad in terms of busy stuff and what have you. I haven't really had a chance. I mean, Civ 6 came out. The idea of being able to play something other than Civ 6 for the first couple of weeks after Civ 6 come out is, is difficult uh, to, to imagine, really. Uh, and um, so we're straight into Football Manager 17 when this comes out. And the idea of playing anything that Football Manager is going to be quite hard to uh, consider in the coming weeks. Uh, setting up game database, stick to positions, uh, setting up league and cup competitions. So Vanarama National, so what's that? That's the one below League 2, so we need what? Vanarama National to League 2 is one promotion, League 2 to League 1, that's a promotion, League 1 to Championship, that's a promotion, and Championship to Premier League, so we need four promotions. I reckon we do that in six, seven years. Unless a better job comes up, such as the Reading match, Reading game, uh, match, game, job, job, that's the one, job, the Reading job. So yeah, four promotions. It's gonna be tough for Macclesfield, Macclesfield Town. But we'll try. See what the players are like. Bound to be a bit shit. Uh, I do recognise uh, there's Oliver Norburn at Mac who um, started my Plymouth game two years ago. Come on, League Cup competitions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't got to manage your sh shortlist yet. Um, no. Uh. Still don't know why I'm a smurf. I'm quite insulted actually. So when we get up there, four turns, they made for so six, seven years to do four promotions, then another couple of years to get to challenging for Europe, 
Uh, finding managed targets. Okay, this is the shortlist, and this takes a while. Always has done. I don't entirely know what it means. I'm not entirely sure these things at the top mean anything. I'll shut up now and just come back when we're in. And here we are. We are in, finally. So, um, this is this is me, Blue, Smurf, obviously, for some reason. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Um, I might change this because this was set up. I'm going to edit profile. Uh, this is fine. Um, yeah. This is... I'm not doing another 3D model, but y yeah. Look, I go from... It's just every... See, that's kind of yellowy. More yellowy than you'd expect. Then we go... And then it's just blue. Maybe I'll go... See, that just looks grey. Whatever happens, I look almost dead. I'm sticking with the, um... I'm sticking with the blue. Uh, if we go, this is quite amusing. I mean, look at the blueness on that. We turn around. Look, it's just, it's just. It looks like a corpse. I look like a corpse with a really strange hand. Anyway, I'm not sure the. <laughs> Let's go back to that one. Uh, so we don't look quite like a corpse. A blue Smurf without a hat on. Do, do Smurfs have hair? I mean, Papa Smurf has a beard. I don't think so. We're going to stick with that. I actually don't like the shoes that colour. We'll go with dark shoes. Um, shirt, drawn coloured shirt. Maybe red. Bright red shirt. Oh, that is... That's special. That looks absolutely terrible. I'd need to go with a black tie on that. Oh, that's lovely. Don't look quite so blue anymore. Oh, I need to wear red. Because it makes me look a little bit less blue. Okay, we're going to go with that. Uh, Mandrill style. Oh, right. So. Yeah, this is this is better. Um, I would say professional football regional level, just to get a bit more. And I do like to be a coaching. Well, it's more useful, to be honest. Um, although we do want motivating. Well, something doesn't really matter. Adaptability doesn't matter, so we want to be more determined and more levels of discipline. We want to be... Uh, I've got people to work with youngsters. So what do you want to f uh, look at? So you don't want goalkeeping or fitness, we can get them. We want to be attacking and tactical. And we want uh, it's determination I'm player knowledge. I suppose that's useful. That's useful. Man management. That's useful. Motivating. We'll go with. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Uh, and start playing. Do we go straight in? Uh, save it. Uh, yes. We will go. Uh, YouTube. Mac. Save. And straight away we're saving. We're going blue. Blue person. It's just weird. I have taken charge of Maxwell. The Maxwell board have announced the appointment of Darren Reed as their club's new Smurf manager. Uh, Reed said to be relishing the opportunity to manage at the Moss Roads. And the Silkman, which is the nickname for Maxwell because of the silk trade. There's a silk road. There's a silk museum. Silk and everything. Uh, Sports are sure to be hoping to bring a difference to their team. Looking more blue there. I'm slightly gaunt. Very much like a corpse. I've died. Apparently, I'm, I'm a vat yeah, I'm a zombie, zombie manager. Um, my press officer is called Darren Smith. I'm not happy having more than one Darren around. I doubt I can sack him though. Robert Hayes, I'd like to formally welcome to Macclesfield. He's the director. Uh, I'd like to assure you that you can rely on their full backing. I'm looking forward to working with you. Uh, Seven hundred pounds a week. That's more than I get paid now. Assistant manager Steve Watson is also offloading players, either permanently or on loan. You're placed on the unwanted development list. That's fine. Some members of the previous regime have retained the set mutual termination of their contract should you wish to bring in your own backroom team. Um, in order to make the transition, Mark Bower, Blower, Mark Blower, the club's chairman, and your assistant manager, Steve Watson, would like to hold meetings with you regarding the club. Uh, yes, we'll attend those meetings. Hi, Darren. Hello, Mark. Uh, welcome to the Silkman. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to welcome you to the club before handing over to your assistant manager, who's going to discuss staff responsibilities with you. Fine, fine, Mark. Also, I'm sure you have to be full back on the board. Well, yeah, you just hired me. Of course you would. Uh, and we wouldn't have hired you if you didn't feel you were the right person. Well, yes, exactly. Great, let's get this meeting started. 
Bloody blah, blah blah. Busy schedule. Thank you very much. Sorry about the blueness. Um, Maxwell Town are obviously a club with a lot of history, are they? Uh, 1874. Oh, yes, they're three years or younger than Reading. So they're an old team, an old club. Uh, fans are really appreciated when newly appointed managers take time to increase the knowledge of the club. Appreciate you might always know a fair bit about Maxwell's background. Um, yes. Yes, I'd love to learn more about the club. Um, no philosophies which will let you judge on during your time at club. Um, I don't think the major is required. I'm, I'm pleased to have been given the freedom to manage the team without having to meet any specific philosophies. I think that's fine for now. We might change it if we ever get things when you get to know the teams, what we're doing. Uh, press conference, yes. Uh, I'm now going to hand over to assistant manager. Final note, the club has major responsibilities. Handled by yourself or other members of staff. Feel free to adjust staff responsibilities, of course. Uh, thanks again for the introduction of the club. I hope to have a long successful career at Macclesfield. Steve Watson, hello. Uh, I'm Steve Watson, your assistant manager. I have some questions to ask you regarding the day-to-day -day run of the team. First, before we talk about team policy, you want to arrange in squad friendly? Uh, yes. Um, thank you. Schedule for tomorrow, fantastic. Report, yes please, I love a report. Who doesn't love a report to read? Uh, meeting, yes, I think I'd love a meeting. Um, any tasks? No, I can do everything else. Thank you very much. Uh, see you later. Cheerio, Steve. And um, bye-bye, Mark. Okay. Injury update? None. Well, long way that continue. I'm Ian Liversedge. It's my head physio. Any responsibilities? Recruit staff is me. Incoming transfers? Um, outgoing transfers? Oh, yes. Yes. Renew contracts? Um, we'll look at this. Evie Brand is my personal assistant. I have a personal assistant. I have a PA. Um, hand team talks. Yes, yes, yes. Manage friendly matches. Handle position instructions. Handle press conferences. Tunnel interviews. Sign scouts. No, I'd like to change that. Okay, let's go in here and do them properly. Um, provide. I'd like. Yep. 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 Hire fire director of football is me. Hire fire head of youth development. All of these is what I want. Yes. If I make off the first team, yes. Young players. Do I not have a youth development person? I do not. I might need one of them. Uh, first team, yep. First team, yep. Find nice lines of young players in the future, yes. Fair enough. Uh, yep. Set aside for scouting. Do I not have a head of scouting? Probably need one of them. Uh, training. Youth squads, assistant manager. Individual training for youth squads, assistant manager. Match training. I need a head of youth development here. Uh, okay, there's more, isn't there? First team, Rangers friendly match. That's the one that I always forget. It's important. Handle first. Yep, 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 yep. What do I not do? I do not play a search advice. Don't know what that is. Coach report. Okay, we'll stick with that. That's fine. Under 23s. Um, I'll give Byron that job. Play matches, first team tactics, team manager, arranged friendly match, that's fine. Under 18s, you can do it again. Back from advice. Every fortnight, pre match, that'll do. Personal assistant, when you scout a player, add them to shortlist for six months, please. No, don't shortlist. When you scout a player, watch him. Uh, report card only, yes. Uh, alert clubs, um, when you're off, uh, da -da 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 -da. okay, we'll just confirm all of them, that's good, and wonderful, Maxwell Town A background, founded in 1874, professional English club, currently playing in the Van Arama National League, uh, Mac will build on the mid tail finish in the uh, league last season, Moss Rose possess average training facilities in Blair Average Youth facilities. club training ground is Sandback, Sandbach Community Football Centre, just off the M6, Junction... Is that 18? I'm not sure. Um, Maxwell youth team play at Sandbach Community Football Center. Club also a very basic junior coach and limited youth recruitment network. Fashion you know as Sigmund trains fierce rivalry with Altrincham and Stockport counties. They're quite nearby. Obviously, in the greater area, you've also got the Manchester clubs, which is a bit awkward. Uh, the club enjoyed probably the best spell during the 90s. they are now enjoying a 19 year barren spell. Have not won a competition since 97. They have history what they can be justly proud of. Runs up in the fourth tier for the only time in 1998. Won the fifth tier in 95-97. Won the FA trophy, trophy in 70 and 96. And finished runs up once. 
won the English sixth tier in 1969, 70 and 87. So basically, it's been a um, it's been a history of mediocrity and poorness. But we're going to change that. Maxwell report. As a first-class player, Mitch Hancock stands out as a strong option as a left-back. Okay, Mitch Hancock's left-back. Uh, plenty of room in the wage budget, with an additional 1.4k still available to be spent. Fantastic. Press down in passing quality, so we're good at passing. Like some Andy Halls, um, right-back, good right-backs. Um, attacking midfield, George Pilkington stands out as a strong option as central defender. Danny Whitaker, central midfielder. We've got work rate, we've got teamwork, we've got leadership, and we've got players who can jump. That's good. Uh, we don't have much depth, and we don't have much youth. Uh, we have no transfer budget. Uh, we, we lack goalkeepers, and we lack defenders, and we're a bit weak. Well, that's a mixed bag, isn't it? Uh, and then introductory advice summary. Uh, Danny Whitaker. Will be much better. Uh, we will not apply that just yet. Uh, Tackers to scout. Joshua Stockwell. We will. Yeah, scout that. So I reckon if I tick these, they do the scouting. I like this. Uh, Hogan of Frame is available. Um, okay. Players to scout. Um, defender scout. Th Thanasis Labanakis. Love the name. He's a right back. I thought I had lots of right backs. We'll scout them all. Uh, Valentin Jockel. And Brian van der Bogert. Lovely. Goalkeepers. We'll just apply all. Yes. Uh, suitable pen takers, we'll do that ourselves. Or free kicks and pen takers. And what's our squad looking like? Well, it's not the biggest. Yeah, we do need more strikers. Uh, we have Jack Sampson, who is a 23 year old Englishman, who. Okay, he's a, he's a big guy. He is a battering ram. Shoots with distance, shoots with power. He's pretty good. I mean, he is. He's decent. I I won't argue with that. Jack Sampson is going to probably be a target man. He is a target man. I might want to go four four two with this. Although I do have attacking midfielders. Uh, Chris Holroyd is a 29-year-old. He is mainly on the right or striker. Natural either. Can't really finish. Doesn't really have much pace. It's a quality player though. I have to get used to the kind of differences in in player quality I've got to what I'm used to. So Paul Lewis is 21 years old. It can pass. I mean he looks like he could be pretty good as a central midfielder. And what do you want not there? Shadow striker. Yeah, I'm reckoning 4-4-2. Danny Rowe, 24 years old. Looks like he's trying to do blue steel but failing there. Um He's good. He's got the dribbling, got the crossing. Yeah, I think we've got to go 4-4-2 with um, Jack Sampson as our target man with you and um, Sutherland, 20 years old. Got some good youth, got some pace here. Um, so yeah, possibly Sutherland and Rowe either side with Lewis and old Baldy here. Uh, oh, he's also good at passing. No, you're not bad, but you are old. You're 35. Uh, King T. James, we have like a... Okay, you're more of a defensive midfielder. Yeah, I'd like... I can see you... Uh, but, and then you or you as my midfielders. Oh, and Norburn, who is... Kind of an all-rounder. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking... I'm liking the look of the midfield. Uh, McCreth is... Got pace. At this, at this level, pace is good. Pace is very good. So another winger. So yeah, I think 4-4-2 is definitely what he would do. Neil Byrne. 13-11-11. Positioning 9. Not really determined, but not bad. Uh, Josh McComb. 15, 15. Good in the air. 10-11. That's pretty good. No pace. Good strength. But no pace. Do we have any pace in these? George Pilkington. 12-12-13. Uh, not much pace. But more. In fact, double. He's twice. I don't think it's actually twice as fast, but no, it probably is actually. So, fifth, so you're four. You were. Uh, I just clicked the same person many times. Yes, Neil Byrne, ten. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. David Fitzpatrick as a left back. 
can take a penalty, has a bit of pace, can kind of tackle. That's not too bad. Uh, Hancock's. You liked Hancock's. 20 years. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. How on earth are you? Mac, you're far too good for me. Right, you're a definite. You are 17, but not actually that bad. So you might be in and around the squad. Andy Halls, right back. 12, 11, not bad. Who was the one they seem to like? Oh, that was Halls. You are not great. And uh, Craig Ross, not bad. And Brannigan, not as good. Do I have under-23s? I don't. And the ones I do, yeah, are not really worth talking about. So I do need... So if we look at this, what we're looking for is a striker. Maybe two. Look on loan, but a striker. Uh, maybe another midfielder. And maybe another centre-back. And a goalkeeper. And we've got loans. We've got many loans we can do. Uh, we, we're playing Bradford, Bristol, uh, Hartlepool and Buxton, who are just around the corner. And then we have, wow, quite quite the season ahead of us. But yeah, um, um, big star is Mitch Hancock. Hancock's and Jack Sampson, I reckon. Uh, tactics. So yeah, this is what I like to play, but... We're obviously going for four four two. Um where we want wingers. Uh who's the best? Now if we just go for we'll just go for wingers on support. We'll have a deep line playmaker and a ball winning midfielder. Uh these can be normal. Then I want an advanced forward and a target man. Um, go away. Why are you there? Our second formation possibly will be a four, two, three. Well, we don't really. Well, we could have it as a second formation, just that, just you know, for something, because uh, you would be a, an advanced forward. You would be a attacking midfielder. You'd be wingers with support. One of you would be the ball winning midfielder. The other would be the DLP with support, and you'd all be the same. So yeah, I reckon we can do two. I don't think we need more. Um, then we go with um, mentality, standard, shape, flexible, team instructions. That's what I'm looking for. Um, tempo. I actually think we'll go with pump ball into the box. We'll go long ball up to our big guy. Because he's good. He's good at that. Um, I'm not going for that. Mixed crosses. Um, yeah, that's fine. Not really worried about that. We can play wide. Actually, do you want to do that? Do you want to play fairly wide? We've got good wings. We want to get the ball out wide, put it in. So actually, clear ball to flanks might be a good idea. And then early crosses, maybe. Uh, retain possession. We'll keep that all like that. Um, okay. Standard. Time wasting. Don't really care. Normal tempo. Actually, higher tempo for long ball football. Yeah, we're going route one. Who cares? Route one it is. And... That's good. Set pieces. Who do we have? Um, what are we doing? Corners. We have Danny Whitaker, who is right-footed. Uh, you will take our left-sided corners. Ooh, routines. Edition routines. Oh, this is exciting. Uh, left only, so you go that side. Norburn, there. James, there. Fitzpatrick, then Whitaker, Norburn, and Mitch Hancock. Free kicks, the same. I oh, know, free kicks. Yeah, pretty much the same, isn't it? Uh, Norburn, Hancocks, Whitaker, Fitzpatrick. Throw ins. Um, oh, this is awkward, isn't it? Oh, we've got to go with Jack Sampson for both, but I want him in the middle to be the one getting it, really. Uh, corners, free. Oh! 
Oh, this is routines. Um, this is routine one. So we want attack. Yep. Attack near post, attack far post. No, what we want is you are challenging keeper and then the strike central right is my header. So you're there. Stay back if needed. I think we can be a little bit more. We want lurking and then we want just a few more. Well, there's no point in keeping these back, is there? There we go. So you attack ball from late, you lurk, you, yes, yeah, that's good. That's good, routine one. And I want the same this side. So it's right, goes there. One of you attacks ball, one of you lurks, and you go in there. And you say back if needed. Wonderful. Uh, penalties. Well, just do that. I see no reason not to. Uh, captains, we have Halls and Whitaker. You want Brannigan, Whitaker, McComb? Where's Halls come in here? Really? Down here? Have I promised you something? Oh, I don't want to change up. I was at the apple cart too much. I think that is. Yeah, that's fine for now. That is fine for now. Um, inbox, we are done. We are done. So we'll hit continue for the first time. Stats, there are none. Uh, season expectations. Uh, top half. Does anything get me a transfer budget? It doesn't really, does it? First round, fourth round. Yeah, I'll do. Don't want to change anything. Social feed. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I've set up your social feed, which will allow you to follow a range of people, teams, and competitions within the footballing world. This is a new thing. Um, you're hopefully interested in receiving news from and about your course free to make additional adjustments at the stage. I'm following the World Cup, World Golden Ball, um, Maxwell Town, World Player of the Year, Reading. Let's look at our social feed. What have we got going on here? Uh, good luck, Darren Reed. Reed, MTFC, ASCII. That's Chloe Luring. Shared by Gary Williams, he supports a spokesman. Literally could not think of anyone worse for the job than Darren Reed. What are Maxwell doing? David Mulberry, go f fuck yourself. Uh, Paul Smith, very interesting choice for Maxfield in your manager. We're keen to see how things develop there. And um, Maxfield are pleased to confirm the appointment of Darren Reed as our new manager. Reed, MTFC, ASCII. Uh, Reed takes charge at Maxfield. Premier League division was open. Bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. Nothing much going on. Um, Sighting people to follow. Bradley Dack. Why am I following him? He's worth five and a half million pounds. That would seem odd to follow. John ASCII. Oh, that, that, that would be harsh to start following the person I've replaced. Uh, we want to follow the Premier Division. Does that do it? If I click that? Unfollow. Oh, yeah, because it'll minus there instead of plus. Uh, United Lukaku Championship. Let's follow the Championship. Let's follow the world. No, that's enough. That's interesting. I'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Uh, let's continue again see what happens. Meet the players. Okay. Hold a first team meeting. Uh, I know many of you have heard of me, so I want to personally introduce myself to you as the new Maxwell manager. Well, yeah, I'm, they're going to know me at some point. Hello! Your reputation, <laughs> I'm so blue, is sure to increase if you meet expectations. I look forward to playing under your management. Um, top half finish. It's exactly the kind of reaction I want to see from a new manager. We'll start, we'll finish top half this season. That's fantastic. Everybody is slightly happier than they were before. Can't really argue with that. I don't like the colours. Is there a different, um,. Different skin available. Uh, preferences. Skin. Put manager dark. Is that going to be easier to look at? Like it's not particularly easy to look at with um with what it was. It's a bit. Oh yeah, that's much better. Oh, that's a hundred percent easier to view. So you've gone for manager dark. Still, these are a bit light. Anyway, uh, what do we want to do? We want to wait for those scouts to come back. What do I have in the way of staff? Um, so we want one manager, one um, no scouts, no data analysts. I would like a head of youth development, if at all possible. 
So one thing I'm very keen to get in, and then we'll look at the rest afterwards. Um, I need to come range first thing first. Do you want to make over to my Macclesfield on 23's match against Macclesfield? Um, none. None. Because they're playing against Macclesfield. I'm playing with them. They're my team. It would seem odd for me to let them play for the other team. But I'd probably want some of the youth players, but I don't have many. 